Hi, my name is Melissa Barbieri. Um, I'm the former Matildas captain and I currently play in the W League with Melbourne City. Um, I'm here to talk to you about um, how as an Olympian I like to use the potent port. Um, I went to the 2004 uh, Olympic Games uh, in Athens and also competed in four World Cups for Australia. Um, I retired in 2015 after my fourth World Cup and it's really important to have intermittent and scheduled pauses uh, which make the pause potent. Um, I like to always ensure that post-match I would sit down and reflect on my performance areas that I can improve um, get my coach's uh, point of view on that as well um, but it wasn't necessary um, as long as I was putting in you know about five to ten minutes of uh, you know written thoughts um, and I had to write it down because it was important to get those things out I mean thinking uh, and meditating on items was good for me but then also I needed to be able to then record those thoughts and feelings and then by the year's end I could have a reflection on a total year's progress um, and it's just a great way to see how far you've come mentally um, because you see so many things on physically and how you do this right and how you do this wrong and when you have a a really strong knowledge and foundation about what you're doing mentally um, it's only good moving forward especially for when those times you see things breaking down and you're not quite sure why um, you might go back and see that you haven't journaled or you haven't had that potent pause um, in that troublesome time so it's good to reflect on on that part of your game as well and for me the most um, important thing that that has taught me uh, is in the middle of um, a catastrophic event and that can be on the on the field so for any reason being a goalkeeper it might be hard to um, to fathom that some things are just not in your control in a game and you can let the emotion of that get the better of you but having the ability to have a potent pause in that moment is also critical. So I say potent pause in saying, I know that for myself, if I am feeling over emotional in the middle of a game, um, I have to have a moment where I take a deep breath. Um, sometimes it's with or without the ball. You take a deep breath and you feel the ground underneath you and you return to yourself. And no matter what the crowd's doing, no matter what the coach has said, um, you go within yourself and you make that point and pause uh, applicable to you in that moment. And it also, the best part about that is also it works on the outside. So now as a mother, um, there are some testing times being a mother where no matter what you say, no matter what you do, the child will not do what you say um, and it can get the better of you emotionally. And it's really, uh, I'm really grateful for everything that I've learned through my sporting career because when it comes down to it, I use that potent pause in my adult life um, outside of football and it helps me calm the situation because the more I escalate the more the child escalates so when I can bring that potent pause into my everyday life then um, not only do I feel in control um, but I also feel empowered because I don't let the situation override me and what I am trying to achieve because at the end of the day we're all just trying to do our best and in this rat race and how hard it is sometimes because information's flying at us left right and center about how we should be and how we should act sometimes it's easy to forget how we really want to be and who we really are um, so being able to take that potent pause daily weekly whatever it is for you and scheduling that in it's just a reminder uh, to yourself of who you want to be and how you want to act.
luck with everything that you want to achieve through this and hopefully use the potent pause um, in your schedule sometime soon.